Hi there booktube, it's Eleanor here and today I'm doing About a Read but rather than just doing my About a Read on one book, I'm doing it on two books but both by the same author. Um, I was lucky enough to receive two review copies from Walk Books uh, by Jandy Nelson. The first is The Sky is Everywhere and the second, I'll Give You the Sun. And I wanted to talk about both of these books in one review, A, because of them being by the same author, but also because I read both of them in one day. And I don't mean one day each. I read both these books on a Sunday. I was pretty much reading most of the day, but I read both of these books in one day. I just couldn't put them down. So starting in the order that I read them, the first book I read was The Sky Is Everywhere. I went into this not knowing an awful lot. Um, I was uh, sent quite a lot of these books as part of promotion that Walker were doing um, to place around my local area for people to have for free and then they could tweet a picture of themselves with the book um, and this was in order to sort of promote the new book and obviously I was lucky enough to have one of the books for myself uh, and I just sort of I'd never really got round to it and I wasn't sure if it was going to be for me and it was contemporary and I just know I just never really got round to reading it and then I thought to myself no nope, I'm gonna read this I quite fancied it and I just picked it was one of those days where I got to pick what I fancied and I picked it up and that was it so the first warning I have to give you on this is I cried big fat proper ugly tears in this book I haven't done that in a long time I bawled like a baby um, it's such a moving emotional story and I dare any of you not to cry if you read this. I was expecting a story about getting over grief. You know from the beginning that the main character has lost her sister and it's about her getting over grief but there's just so much more in this. There's family and betrayal and love and loss and there is getting over grief as well but it's just so jam-packed with so many interesting things and it's so real and honest and at points uncomfortable I really yeah this book really moved me well it moved me to tears I really enjoyed it so giving you a quick synopsis of this story it's about Lenny and her sister has died her mother's never really been in the picture she's never known her her mother is apparently a wanderer so she just walked out and likes to wander and she's always lived with her grandmother and her uncle and so obviously did her sister until her sister dies and that happens it's not a spoiler right at the very beginning you know her sister's died and we just follow her getting over the death of her sister who was such a big part of her life they shared a room um, her sister was a little bit older than her and she was a best friend and they bonded obviously without having their mother they spent a lot of time together they were always there keeping a lookout for each other and this story just follows Lenny in her progression towards getting over this grief and the things that happen in her life it was just a brilliant read and I gave it five stars I next moved on to I'll give you the sun also by Jandy Nelson. Um, I'd heard a lot more about this. I'd heard a lot of people had received copies of it to read. I'd heard a few people had read it and said how good it was. So I was expecting good things and having just put down the previous book, I was ready to be wowed again. And I wasn't disappointed. However, this one was a little bit more of a slow starter. It's told from the perspective of twins, Noah and Jude, and it's about their life. We skip not only points of view, but we also skip ages. So we skip from around the time when they're about 13, 14, to when they're 16, which is meant to be sort of the present day. And it just follows their life um, amongst some tragedy and growing up as twins and there's a lot about art in here it's um there's a lot of exploration of art there's also love there's family dynamics again and this is obviously what jandy nelson does really well she obviously writes stories about family and the complications and the realities very well and i found that really um quite powerful within her writing Something's obviously happened in this story, don't know what it is, that has driven a wedge between the two twins and they're no longer speaking to each other. And that's 
part of what this is. It's uncovering all the different deceptions that have happened, all the different things have, that have drawn pulled them away from each other and we find out whether they can find their way back to each other and be as close as they were. I don't want to say any more about the story because I think it was it had some really good plot twists in there and some really good interesting um, moments which I don't want to spoil for you. I just found Jandy Nelson's uh, writing really engaging, really easy to read. I mean the font in these books is relatively big but it's got some really great detailing in both books actually in the sky is everywhere at the beginning of each chapter there's different sort of handwritten notes which become obvious what they're about when you read the story which I thought was a really nice touch and in I'll give you the sun we have pages with art on and different chapters have different drawings on them, which really um, helped in terms of drawing you into the story because it's a very evocative and um, it, it relies on a lot of imagery, this story, and the artwork is a massive theme in this. And I wouldn't necessarily call myself um, an art appreciator or, you know, I, I like art, but it's not something that I'm really into. But this made me want to be more into it. And it definitely made me want to be able to draw and be an artist, which is not, I can't even draw stick figures. <laughs> but it was just, yeah, it was really good. And I ended up, I, towards the sort of beginning of this book, I was thinking it was going to be four stars. But again, Dandy Nelson blew out of the water for me and I couldn't give it anything but five stars. So... I'm so, so thankful um, to Walker Books. So uh, thank you for sending me these. And I shall now be um, telling everyone I know to read them. And I already know a couple of perfect people that I'm going to um, tell about these. And obviously I've told all of you about it. So you let me know, have any of you read this? Were you as equally blown away as I was? Um, let me know your thoughts. And um, I look forward to speaking to you soon. Bye for now, booktube.